long time, old channel room. Looks like the staff has kept you clean. Oh, hey, guys. I was just reflecting. Hmm. Isn't that ironic, though, how one could feel homesick after moving on to bigger things? You love where you are, but you can't help remembering back from where you started. The feels are too real, like they were for me in our latest episode of Season 5, Castle Sweet Castle. Though I know there was some predictability within the Fame 6 in dealing with the conflict of this episode, I was happily surprised by the emotional undertaking it was able to express, as well as still get a good laugh out of me in the process. Hmm. Well, since I'm here and talking about the episode, it wouldn't hurt to do one last review here, I guess. For old time's sake. Thanks for tuning in, viewers, and as I said before in the older days, welcome back to the Lightning Bliss Show. <laughs> Well, as the episode indicates in various shots, Twilight is clearly obsessing about staying away from something as she attempts to keep busy with her friends. Needless to say, her friends don't take long in noticing a problem during a fun-filled pancake brunch. Yeah, I'm Pancake! I mean, awake! Oh, that reminds me of when I went on a long ramble and I did that T-Rex roar. Good times here. Good times. <clears throat> Too much rather than dodging the obvious, Twilight admits she's been avoiding the castle because it doesn't feel like home to her. <sighs> the feels are already hitting me here. Rest in peace, this golden oak library. <laughs> How is one supposed to make a big, dark, long hallway crystal castle feel like home exactly? Pinky, you nailed that one on the spot. I'm still not used to this ugly place, and I fear I never will. It sticks out like a sore thumb in Ponyville, not to mention, eh, okay, this is a light complaint, and no, I am not an architect, but I simply cannot contemplate how all these hallways are fitting into this tree trunk. Or does the tree have a massive staircase leading up to all these hallways in the main bulk of it? <sighs> Point being, it's a large undertaking of making this place a home. I could see the frustration and stress Twilight is experiencing. But happy to see her friends offer a helping hoof to address the problem by decorating it up for her. And that's when I get my favorite line out of Rarity yet this entire series. I'm saying this with love, but have you looked in the mirror lately? Yee, <laughs> no kidding Rarity. I wonder if that was one of the reasons why I hid under that cloak. <gasps> Never mind. <clears throat> And in comes Spike, sadly missing out on the pancake breakfast. Kind of felt bad in that moment for the little guy, fearing the Fame Six were going to cut him out of the fun again. Especially when they asked him to take Twilight to the spa. But thank goodness they gave him some time to stuff pancakes down his mouth. Sheesh. I wish I was that productive in eating. Let's all work together. Turning to another new song in the series, I gotta admit it's a little catchy, though some of the words seem to be forced. Maybe it was the visual aspect of it all that I didn't care for. Seeing all the friends coming together to bring what they think will make the castle feel like home to Twilight. The whole time I found myself shouting at the screen. AJ bringing dirt and flowers to plant on the floor. Trophies that Rainbow Dash brought that clearly belong to her. Fluttershy bringing in those animals. Some aren't even indoor appropriate. And Pinkie Pie hiding all her party cannons throughout the castle which will no doubt cause a heart attack to any pony unprepared. The only pony I don't have a problem with was Rarity, and she went to beautifying the place up by her keen eye. But of course that backfires later when Applejack points out that her gems are causing too much light in the room. Either way, loved the song, but hated the actions the Fame Six did when going about their tasks. It seemed childish and, well, made no sense on the basis of, is this how you decorate your home? Seriously? Luckily, they all agreed they've cluttered the castle thanks to Spike being brutally honest and asked him to stall Twilight from coming back, till they figure it out. Going to one of my favorite crack-ups! Pony order massages? Yeah! Let's do this, little dragon! Oh, I hate it when he does- Are you kidding me, Bulg? You work at the spa? Oh my god, <laughs> Yeah! Okay, okay, you're awesome, big guy. So while Spike distracts Twilight, they come across the old library, reliving the fact it's no longer there. <sighs> I'm turning up on this place. What a blow to one's life making mournful memories at a location that is now gone. 
think this has to be one of the most emotional scenes I've seen thus far of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic series. It's true that while we may never see an episode where the characters deal with a major pony life loss, the fact that we've been with the tree library for four seasons tends to hit home for me. The show took a risk for destroying it, and I can't help but admire this. Not only does this spark emotion to the audience, but it leads to more character development for the famed six. They all had memories and attachments to the library, and now they have to find a way to move on without it. I am so sorry for your loss. <laughs> Meanwhile, her friends are back to square one with decorating the castle. When they argued it was too cluttered and removed everything out through bitter exchanges. Leave it as it was once again. Piggy Pie fears the worst that Twilight would reject their friendship for putting her trust in them. What'd you guys do? And we'll have to be like nothing! And then she'll be like, I was counting on you! Some friends you are! And we'll be like, ah! <laughs> Okay, seriously, Piggy, you have learned nothing by now? I mean, I know you want to make Twilight happy, but I'm pretty sure she wouldn't go that far as to saying some friends you are for not being able to succeed, okay? It was a daunting task to begin with. But here is where I am pleasantly surprised about the Fame Six when they are trying to come up with a way to make Twilight feel more at home. Here I was screaming at them that she likes books! Put more books in the castle! Yet they came up with something way better that still tears me up. When Twilight comes home, her friends surprise her with a new chandelier with gems, holding pictures of the memories she made at the library with her friends. So that way she'll never forget those times. And they hung it from the roots of the old library! That reflected where she came from in Ponyville. This not only helps us viewers to move forward with Twilight and her friends, but it also gives us some closure knowing we will never forget that famed location of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic series. For some pony like me, that gets me crying every time. Since I was a teen filly suffering the loss of a house fire and moving from place to place for nearly half my life, the struggle of trying to make a new place a home can be quite the ordeal. In my case, I knew that we'd be moving from our rental home soon, and there go couldn't bother getting attached. But if it's one thing I keep in myself that this episode reminds me of, it's not where you live, but the memories you take with it. An emotional ride combined with laughter and surprises, and as always, great animation. This episode gets an 8 out of 10 on my rainbow scale. <sighs> but now, I guess this is it then. I'm done reviewing. I guess that means I should head back to my dimension. My last review here. home feel like home isn't what it looks like. It's the memories you make when you're there. That's right, Applejack. That's right. Perfect! La 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 la!